What's up everybody, it's Taylor Soper from GeekWire and we are here in Seattle outside of CenturyLink Field with Chip Dean, he's a coordinating director with ESPN. Uh, welcome to Seattle. Thank you, it's great, great to be here, one of our favorite places. And we're here before the Bills take on the Seahawks on Monday Night Football. Um, and we, we're really here to check out the technology that goes behind the scenes for the Monday Night Football production. Uh, you've been at ESPN for more than three decades now, and you've seen technology really impact how you guys work and what we see as fans at home. Um, when, when you think of technology and how it affects the broadcast, like what comes to mind for you? Well, it's, it's a lot, but I would say over the last 10 years, the things that come to mind are high-speed cameras, uh, pylon cameras, I think just the vantage point of what the viewers want to see and how they see it have changed a lot in the last 10 years just on how we present the game to the viewers and what they see. And there's, there's been technologies like the pylon cam or cool things like that. You've, you've had to fit those into the broadcast too, right? Talk yes. about the balance of like adding technology but also keeping you know the general aura of the traditional broadcast. How do you balance that? Because you can't have too much technology, right? Well, it's also based on live and in replay. So in live, which mostly um, I'm in charge of, is how does it document the game? Where can it make the event feel big? How do you showcase the scene? Things like the pylon cameras are really more replay devices. It's meant to be to support the NFL in plays in the money zone, the red zone. So when we integrated and innovated those technology, it was all based on do they score, do they not score? The difference between a win or a loss, the playoff or not the playoffs, all based on that money zone. So that's really where we initially started. The college football guys did it. Uh, we did it. And uh, it's been really, uh, it's a unique shot. You know, last year I think one of our shots that we were most uh, recognized for was the Odell Beckham toe tap. And so I think that grabbed a lot of people's attention. And as you guys, back in Bristol, when you guys think of implementing new technologies, how does that process work? Do you sit down at a table and really analyze the technology and then eventually go out and test it? Like, how does that process work when you want to introduce new kinds of technology that might enhance the broadcast? Well, it's a lot of R&D with either watching other sports, talking internally, Jay and myself, working with our operations team, and they're all very production savvy and very technical, obviously. And so whether it's going to NAB together, and looking at new tools and, and trades or new ways to do things, efficiency, uh, workflow, etc. It's a combination of all those things and then we work, it's almost year round, we discuss how to make the presentation bigger, what is an angle you haven't seen, what's the trend in the sport that we can try to find technology to support, statistics, graphics, audio, video, all of that. It's, a, it's an ongoing R&D project. And speaking of new stuff, uh, streaming is becoming more and more prevalent. Uh, we're not just watching on, on the big screen anymore, we're watching on our phones, on our tablets. Does that change how you guys you know, do, the, do the production at all? It doesn't for us. Uh, I think the NFL contract is, most, is different than other sports. So for us, we, uh, we basically shoot the game and air the game just like we have. I know it's on our ESPN app, so I believe it's just a mirror of the show at this point. At this point, but maybe looking ahead, especially with like VR and AR. I remember seeing John Gruden sure. on a recent broadcast. Sure. He's, he put it on dur during the during the game, and it was he was really amazed by it. But you can imagine maybe five years or ten years out, people will be watching the game right there, and that brings a, a whole new host of possibilities in terms of what you guys can show, right? Sure, and I think our college football megacast is another example of it, example of it where there are so many different. You can watch the game from SkyCam. You can watch the game from. A, a fan's point of view, whether it be the home team or away team. So a lot of those are options for streaming as we go forward. And yeah, as, as we go forward, is there something that you're really excited about in terms of technology that will enhance the broadcast? I mean, whether it's virtual reality or, or streaming or something else that you kind of ha have your eye on and say that might be what we're using in five or 10 years? I think for me, uh, the next step for our viewers is to embed cameras with the players so that you, the viewer, can be right there with the players. In auto racing, they're in cars. In other sports, they're right there with them. It would be really cool. It's a long time ago, they were on the umpires, and you could see that point of view. Skycam gives you that a little bit. Our Steadicam gets you on the field. But I think every viewer wants to be in the huddle, be next to a player. So I think at some point, when that technology is safer, smaller, and more reliable, then maybe it will go that direction with the support of the leagues, whatever sports they are. And I was, that would make it really cool as a viewer, but for you, you're kind of like the composer in there, right? And that's, that would make your job probably even, even more difficult because you're like, now you're dealing with 22 more possible 
camera angles to show, right? Uh, we love the challenge of trying new things. Very Always cool. reinventing. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time, and uh, we're going to take a little tour of the truck and see how, how the magic's all done. So thank you. You're welcome.